we will learn about disorders of sodium balance they are very important and uh, in this lecture we will learn about hyponatremia we will learn about the clinical presentation the way we treat it in an emergency the diagnostic approach and the management hyponatremia is an emergency which really is bothersome to the students they are confused and they are not as happy as they are when they see hyperkalemia which is simple to treat the algorithm is clearly defined so hyponatremia should also follow an algorithmic approach it is a complex problem it is a disorder of water balance rather than sodium balance hyponatremia represents hypoosmolarity so we must remember two things it is a water disorder and number two hyponatremia true hyponatremia represents hypoosmolality serum sodium concentration is determined by the amount of ecf water relative to ecf sodium the sodium disorders can be classified as hyponatremia when there is too much water or hyponatremia too little water or hypovolemia there is too little sodium which is the main extracellular solute edema where there is too much sodium with associated water retention let's look at one classical case which we encounter in our day to day practice a 67 year old chronic male smoker a known case of small cell carcinoma is admitted to a hospital with altered sensorium nausea and dizziness his vital signs are stable liver function tests urea and creatinine are normal serum sodium is 118 milliequivalent per liter and serum potassium is 3 milliequivalent per liter now when we look at this particular patient we know that there is a significant electrolyte imbalance he has hyponatremia as well as hypokalemia and he is symptomatic because he is in altered sensorium he is having dizziness so these are some of the cases where you know symptomatic makes a lot of difference symptomatic means we need to treat we need to treat faster versus chronic this we will learn as the lecture unfolds as the lecture unfolds so hyponatremia is commonly seen in the icu as a complication of medical illness as we have seen in this case of small cell carcinoma the normal sodium levels are 135 to 145 milliequivalents per liter My